LBC News Time, 6.31. It's Chris Golds with you here. Live across the UK uh, this Thursday evening. Uh, we're on uh, DAB Digital Radio, on your smart speaker, and on Global Player, of course. Um, the FTSE 100 has ended the penultimate day of trading this week in the red, down 41 points at 65.26. We'll find out where it opens with uh, Lisa Aziz. At about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, she is, of course, live uh, on breakfast from 6. Now, uh, if you've been on social media uh, over the last 24, 48 hours or so, you will have seen this story, but maybe you've been slightly confused by it. I know I have. Um, it's market regulators in the US that are going to review this rally in shares of the struggling retailer GameStop following an internet campaign. Stocks have risen over 1,700% in the past couple of weeks, mostly driven by users of the social media platform Reddit. They were trying to show how easy it is to manipulate the system. Confused? Well, let's try and break it down for you here on LBC News. Delighted to say I'm joined by uh, Gary Stevenson, who joins us now. He's an ex-city trader and is now an economist. Uh, evening to you, Gary. Hi, Chris. So what has gone on here? What sparked it? Why GameStop? What's gone on? Give us the detail. Okay, so first, to give you a little bit of background, the US is obviously going through a very similar massive COVID epidemic like we are. A lot of people have lost their jobs, a lot of people have lost incomes, a lot of people are sitting at home unable to work. And the government's been sending out stimulus checks to support these people. Now, at the same time, the US stock market has been on an absolute surge. It's nearly doubled in the last um, nine months. And some stocks like Tesla have gone up nearly six times. Other things like Bitcoin are absolutely exploding. So we've got a lot of people sitting at home, they can't work, they're not making any money. Um, at the same time, the richest people in the country, like Jeff Bezos, the value of their companies are doubling. Mm. And this is on the back of 10 years of stock markets exploding in that country. So people at home are starting to think, listen, I'm not happy with this. And work isn't working for me. I'm not making any money. And the super rich are just getting super rich on the stock markets. And they want to get involved. So they're surging onto the internet and they're going to this website, Reddit, which is a social media site. It's essentially a message board site. There's an area on there called Wall Street Bets. That's where people go to talk about how to make money on the markets, what stocks to buy, this kind of thing. Mm. And some people came up with the idea about GameStop. So what you need to understand about GameStop is there's a big hedge fund, well, a few hedge funds that decided that this was a weak company. They decided to try and push the stock price down by short selling it. So you need to know a little bit about short selling, all right? So to short sell a stock, normally if you think a stock price is going to go up, you buy it. But how do you make money if the stock price is going to go down? Well, the way you do it is you borrow the stock, for example, a week for a week for someone who has it, and then you sell it, hoping to buy it back later at a lower price. Now, these um, hedge funds had shorted a lot of this stock, and some people on Reddit figured it out. So they said, look, if we all go together and we buy loads and loads of this stock, we can push the price up massively. We'll refuse to lend out any of the stock to the short sellers, and then the short sellers will have to buy the stock back when their loans of their stock run out. That means we can push the price up, and then the hedge funds will have to buy at a massively higher price, and we'll all make loads of money. Now, this is a thing which is relatively well-known historically in financial markets. It's called a short squeeze. Mm -hmm. You push the price up so that all the shorts get, lose loads of money and they have to buy the higher prices. There was a massive short squeeze in um, the gold market, for example, in the 80s. Sometimes it's called cornering the market. There have even been guys who've done this with sort of food markets like wheat. We're going to buy all the wheat and then people who need them are going to charge exorbitant prices. So basically, amazingly, this horde of sort of unrelated people who are sitting at home trading mm -hmm. on the internet managed to push GameStop up 1,500% in about two weeks, which is phenomenal. That caused this uh, one hedge fund, I think it's Melvin is the name, to almost go bankrupt. They lost, about, I think, 30% of their assets under value. Um, I mean, it really is a phenomenal story. But I think what this tells you is people are starting to, to this situation where the way we deal with crisis is to bail out the stock market, but not to bail out ordinary people, and, and mm -hmm. people want to get involved. Mm. But, I mean, the way it's played out has been really phenomenal. My big concern now is, and the thing I would like to tell people listening at home, is yeah. really be careful before you get involved in things like this because it is inevitable, in my opinion, I think most market professionals would agree, that this stock will collapse back down at some point. And uh, some people are going to make a lot of money on this. You know, there's someone on, the, on this Reddit website who claims to turn $50,000 into $47 million. Yeah. If you get involved now, that's not going to be you. And at some point, this is going to collapse and some people are going to be holding it. So I would just really note of caution to people listening don't rush in and get involved in this now my strong recommendation do you think this is going to spark some sort of trend it's already a trend i mean look at bitcoin look at tesla look at the, i mean the, the thing is you need to understand what is happening with regards to the coronavirus crisis governments all over but the tesla's world not in, tesla's stocks not going up because um lots of people are chatting about it on reddit they're going up they because are, they are I, I, i've been on this website these guys is love that really tesla. the reason behind 
Tesla. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm not, not an expert exactly on um, <laughs> Tesla stock, but it's, it's, it's very, it's very stock expensive we talk about to a lot, isn't other, it? Yeah, I mean, it's very, very expensive compared to other car makers. And there is a huge, like, I go on this, I've been on this, you know, I, I trade markets and I look at this website. Mm. They love Tesla. They love Elon Musk. Oh, you know, not all of them, but if Elon Musk tweets something, that will move. You know, these guys, yeah. they love that guy. And um, the fact is, you know, governments have printed lots of money. That's how they've dealt with this crisis. And that means that there's a lot of money spilling about in the system. And largely, it's ended up with richer people here. And if you give a lot of money to a lot of rich people, they're going to buy stocks. And I think what's relevant to the UK, they're going to buy houses as well. And, you know, we're starting to see in the middle of the worst economic crisis in our lifetimes, house prices are going up at record pace. Yeah. What do you think so is going to happen? Sorry, what do you think is going to happen to um, GameStop themselves? I mean, the company, up, the, um, the, the head funds which looked at this company, they, they analyse it to be a weak company. I mean, I'll tell you one thing, they've definitely got a lot of free advertising and publicity over the last few days, which will probably support the company. But um, if we assume, and I think it, it is likely that this uh, stock price will simply rise and fall, that doesn't actually really benefit the company themselves. It, it's purely a game between people who hold the stock, the short sellers, and, and this army on Reddit, essentially. Um, you know, the company gets some free advertising, but it, it was judged by many hedge funds to be a weak stock. It's trying to compete with a massive giant like Amazon. But realistically, presuming the stock falls back down, it doesn't really change the outlook for the company itself. Um, do you think we'll see a move away from stock markets and how they work and how um, massive, what well, you know, massive part that they play in um, in in uh, countries' economies, or or is this the model that is going to be around for a while? Well, I mean, already there's such a divergence between countries' economies and the stock market. I mean, just look at what's happened since 2008. You know, the UK stock market's up, I think, two or three times in that time. The US is up even more. Stock markets just seem to go up and up. And the reason for this is. And this is another thing that these guys on Reddit um, love to talk about is whenever there's a strong economy, stock markets go up. But whenever there's a weak economy, central banks print billions of dollars and that pushes stock markets up. So it creates a situation where it feels like stock markets can only go up, whether it's a strong economy or a weak economy. And what that means is whether workers and ordinary families do well or badly, the rich always do well. So if that's the situation, and if we look at the last 12 years, that seems to be the situation. You can kind of understand why now ordinary people are surging in to buy these stocks. Mm. Well, fascinating talking to you. I think you've made us uh, made uh, some sense of all those memes and various different videos I've seen online. So thank you very much for joining us here on LBC News. That's uh, Gary Stevenson, an ex-city trader and an economist. This is LBC News. The headlines are next. LBC News.